and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odoma and today we are going to look at the split up in the stroke. It's kind of a fake split, it's not that you have to have the perfect split in order to make it look nice, but of course it helps. So before you do it, stretch a little bit and before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and join Patreon. I have a Patreon where I work with people a little bit more personal, where there is monthly workshops, one-to-one -one lessons, links you find below. Let's go to the video. So for this split, on top of the hoop here, you have to decide which leg is going to be in the front. If you want to have your leg left in front, so it's the one which you will hang in up here. If you want to have your right leg, you will take the other one. So this is something you should know. I normally take my left leg, left leg because this one is a little bit more flexible, so that makes it a little bit easier. To come up there, you have to kind of go on your stomach and hang the leg from the front. That's important. So you're not going through the hoop and hanging it in, you're going from the front. If you have a hard time to do that, you can place your foot on the strop and kind of pull yourself up. I will show it to you like this. So placing your foot, pushing yourself up and hanging the leg in. The same hand, like the leg which you have been hanging in, for me it's the left one, is going on top as much as you can. So use the right hand to pull yourself up and really come as high as possible. As you can see, I almost have the hoop now in my hip already. Then you do one more pull with the other hand on top. And then what you have to do is that the left hand, the same like the leg which is there, is going to thread through. And you can even almost place your head here. So that's what you want to thread through. Then the same hand will from below grab the leg and you will pull it towards you. The other leg is going backwards and there you are in the split. What I normally do then is try to straighten the top leg a bit and hang down because it feels like the shape of the split is going better. Another thing you should think about is this leg, really push it backwards. So work your glutes, push it backwards and really go into the split. For coming out, release that hand, hang down and then you're there. This is already the entire split. So same arm grabs the leg, like the leg which you have in the front. You do hang it in from the front. You go around and grab it from below and pull it towards you. And the other leg is kind of, you are activating your glutes and pushing it backwards. So you also see it's kind of not a straight split because the leg is going to that side and the other one is here, but it does look very visual and really beautiful. So give it a try. You basically don't have to, there is not so much more to think about. Make sure you get around. I feel that when I get my shoulder good enough around, I get a better split than if I just get my elbow around and I'm somewhere there, then it's a little bit harder to pull it towards you, the leg. So it helps when you have your shoulder around and then you can kind of pull a little bit more. So this is maybe something you should focus on to get high enough to go around, which means again, work your core so you are strong enough to not need 14 grabs before you are up there. So try to go in one, two up and not one, two, three, four, but everything is a work in progress. So just go for it and work on it. But this is something to think about. I really hope you like the split. And from there, you can actually beautifully go into a bird of paradise. If you place your leg around and go down, I have some flows where I show it. So look at it and try it. It's really a very, very nice entrance, I think. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.